Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today, I am out in the fuel shed. As you can see, it is kind of a disaster out here right now, but that's okay. Uh, getting ready to make another batch of fuel because again, our drum is empty. And uh, I've been wanting to do this for a little bit. Um, I've noticed in the comment section, I keep getting a lot of uh, basic setup questions as far as my setup is concerned and how I do things. And I also see, you know, some complaining about some of the longer format videos and such. So I've decided I'm going to do a back to basics video series on this. And what that's going to entail is just a few uh, short five, six minute long videos going over the basics of the entire setup. And today we're going to start at the top. Step one is the feed drum. Let's get at it. So this video series is going to focus on direct drive units. Uh, as you know, I run a WVO Design 6000 RPM centrifuge, uh, run their heater setup, their booster cone. This is the 120 volt model. Love the unit, it's been fantastic, and uh, that's why I started selling them. With that said, how I feed this unit is a 55 gallon drum turned horizontal. Now. You can see this five gallon bucket here. That's for my testing small batches But the back side of this drum I have slightly elevated that way the oil comes to this part of the drum easier So we don't get a bunch of uh, sludge and stuff settling in the bottom of this drum We will get a little bit so eventually I'm sure I'll have to clean this drum out, but it is what it is I've got vent ports on the top of that drum just drilled a hole and epoxied some fittings in there, ran the hose down, and I've got the fill that I use up there as well. Same thing, it's epoxied uh, fittings, drilled and epoxied into the side of the drum. They've worked great. I do not fill the drum to the tippy top so it doesn't pressurize the drum and blow oil everywhere. I run one of my drill pumps to fill this drum and uh, it's simple, it works. I can pull from any of these totes in here, run this pump with a drill, and fill this up. Now, as you can see, I get a lot of questions about this sight glass setup, and it is very simple. All of these drums have two bungs in them, so with them turned sideways like this, I've used that. Come off the bung with a T on top and bottom, and all this is is some clear vinyl tubing from the hardware store crimped in place. Now, as I fill this drum up, you'll see the oil come up this tube. Very simple. Down here, we've got a two valve setup. This makes things easy. Uh, this here shuts off flow, turns flow on. This here adjusts the flow rate through the centrifuge. Now, a lot of people think this is a set it and forget it and walk away type deal. That's not the case. Um, if you want to keep a consistent five gallon per hour flow through the centrifuge, you will have to adjust this because as the drum drains down, the pressure on this piping is going to decrease, meaning the flow rate through this valve is going to decrease too. So by the time you're done, you may be down to only a gallon per hour or so, which isn't a big deal. Running slower is actually better. But anywho, all of this stuff come from a hardware store. This is all three quarter inch MPT pipe fittings. This is a three quarter to, I believe, three eighths nipple, top and bottom. And then I've got some specialty plumbing in there as well, which uh, we'll cover some other time. With that said, that is how I feed this centrifuge. 55 gallon drum, I put approximately 50-ish gallons of oil in it. When the process is done, that leaves me five gallons or so of headroom in the finished drum to add my gasoline to thin the mix down. I never uh, mix gasoline and oil and run it through the heated centrifuge. That's a, that's a, that's a no-no in my book. 
but anywho that's uh that's about it as far as feeding these things you can you can get away with using a pump and some people do that and it works well but uh, you just got to find a pump that's capable of flowing oil uh, at a slow rate continuously for hours and hours without burning the pump up um, some people have had good luck with cheap little 12 volt fuel pumps uh, i got a buddy up in canada who does the same thing works well for him and in that instance you can run a tote or something like that on, at ground level and pump the oil up to the centrifuge instead and uh yeah that works great uh, in my book, um, I like to keep things as simple as possible to keep things, uh, keep failure, the, the potential for failure anyways, as low as possible. So gravity it is for me. It works. Uh, gravity's a constant. It's always there. Something else to keep in mind with this valve setup. They do make powered valves, like powered ball valves, motorized ball valves. Some of them have a feature that when power fails, the valve will automatically close. It's spring-loaded. That would be ideal for your shutoff valve. reason I say that is because if power fails to the centrifuge during a batch, and this valve is open, the contents of whatever you're feeding it from will go out the sludge drain. And uh, if your container is not large enough to catch all of that oil, you're going to have a bad day. But... Uh, yeah, we're going to wrap this up. That is how I feed this unit. It's very simple, very cost effective. It works. Uh, you can get new drums for dirt cheap. You can find them used for free all over the place. I chose plastic because uh, it was cheap and it worked. And I didn't have to, I bought a new one. So I didn't have to worry about what was in it before. But uh, yeah, that's all it is. If you've got any comments, questions, complaints, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, check out the website if you want uh, merch, black diesel gear, uh, centrifuges, so on and so forth. That's www.notsograndgarage.com. Uh, stay tuned to this little series because, I, like I said, I'm going to be going through everything. The next part of this will be the actual plumbing based around the centrifuge and how I have mine set up. So uh, be on the lookout for that video to drop here soon. If... Uh, you would hit that thumbs up button helps us out quite a bit doesn't cost you anything if you haven't already please subscribe we appreciate you watching